The state government's purchased a $2.5 million piece of prime rural real estate in the Sunshine Coast hinterland. The acquisition is an investment in the region's future, part of a conservation corridor for some of our cutest but most endangered locals. An icon of not just Australian wildlife, but particularly our own corner of southeast Queensland. Sadly, too many koalas are also becoming martyrs of the conservation cause. You get down to Australia Zoo, 80% of the koalas they're getting in there are diseased. We need to nail those diseases, particularly the retrovirus and the chlamydia. They're also facing extinction as a result of loss of habitat, but not in this quiet corner of the Sunshine Coast anymore. Here the state government is splashing cash, buying up parcels of prime rural real estate, specifically for conservation. 26.5 million all up, 22.5 of that to acquire properties and in some cases do significant rehab work. The Environment Minister says koalas can survive and thrive side by side with development. We are getting smarter about our urban developments and as other states have shown and indeed as we've seen down in places like Pine Rivers, koalas can thrive next to urban developments. Many conservationists would disagree, but certainly this 126 hectare property at Cromhurst is a step in the right direction. It connects two, two uh, state forests to a um, conservation park and it'll be a, a great corridor for, for wildlife that travel through that area. Just west of Landsborough, grazing in dairy land for the past 40 years. Soon it'll be reclaimed by nature with help from Conservation Volunteers Australia. We've got one Aussie who's come all the way up from southern New South Wales just for this project. We've got a bloke from Korea, um, a bloke and a girl from Taiwan and uh, three girls from Hong Kong. As well as improving international relations, they're planting 18,000 trees over the next couple of months. It's only relatively tiny now, but at maturity this tree could be up to 50 metres tall in just seven years, 30 metres, perfect koala habitat and a perfect meal. But koalas aren't the only species that are going to benefit from all this rehabilitation. There's quite a few other endangered species that sort of exist in this area. Species like the Richmond birdwing butterfly vine, the, the coxswain's fig parrot and the glossy black cockatoo. And when it comes to conservation, every spare set of hands helps the cause. Lincoln Humphreys, Wind News.